Hey everybody, it's uh, me checking in. I'm gonna do a quick uh, unboxing video. Um, there's actually gonna be um, some more I'm gonna do tomorrow. Uh, I'm working on getting the, the vacuum tubes hooked up and this particular package came in today and I know there's a part in here that I need. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this part and then uh, I'll do the rest of the unboxing tomorrow. Um, so I ordered about $500 worth of with the additional parts for the kiln. I ordered a bunch of Arduino stuff uh, for the microcontroller. I ordered some of the coolant parts. I ordered some uh, quick connect couplers for the PEX system. Um, I'll be showing you all that stuff later. Uh, and I ordered a bunch of temperature controllers and stuff like that. So um, I'll, I'll eventually show you everything I got. Um, but for right now, um, I'm gonna start off with this box go ahead and open it. It should have more than one thing in it, so um, we'll go ahead and see what we have. So I ordered this stuff from Amazon, um, kind of my usual gig here. Okay. This actually isn't for the kiln. Um, this is another project I'm working on uh, for the gr the 24 inch Grizzly planer. Uh, the readout I have on it is a, a manual one and it's not very good. So this is a $70 attachment for your planer. It gives you a really uh, concise readout so you don't you can zero it out and then you don't have to try to do anything with the with the trying to look at this the stupid ruler that's off in the dark corner. So uh, that's what this is for real handy piece of equipment I'll be putting that on later and now we have our stuff here so this right here is a voltage regulator so I'm going to be coming off of a 12 volt battery in a solar system uh, to run the Arduino and I didn't want to uh, it's 12 volt off the battery and I didn't want to have any power surges uh, from the battery to the Arduino system so I ordered this. This is a, a voltage regulator where you can adjust how much voltage is coming in from one or your 12 volt comes into here and then you can use the, the regulator here to adjust um, how much voltage comes out the other end because the Arduino I think is a 5 volt system so I didn't want to fry any electronics that's what this is. Uh, I think this is only like an eight dollar part. Uh, worth the investment to protect your your system. So I ordered these right here. I actually ordered ten of them. This is, these are all temperature controllers. Um, they'll be hooked up to the Arduino so I can measure um, the temperature of the coolant throughout the system, uh, entrance and exit, and how much of the radiators are dissipating dissipating into the kiln and all kinds of stuff. These are waterproof. Um, I think I ordered 10 of them. I'll be showing these later on. Uh, I still have to figure out the Arduino and how to program it to read that stuff. This is actually the box right here that I wanted. Uh, I'm getting ready to hook this PEX up. And this one, this is where everything starts for the, um, the cool, or it's, it's considered a cooling system, but I'm actually using it to heat. So this is where it all starts. Uh, this will be the top of the whole system. And it's a coolant reservoir. So I got one that was clear. That way I can monitor how much is um, how much coolant I have in it and not have to worry about uh, if it's got liquid in it or not. So that's what this is. Uh, I'll be mounting this up in the corner there uh, kind of up where that temperature sensor is I'll be putting it up there uh, and then hooking everything up so it actually comes with a you can see right here it actually comes with a a, a sensor in it to tell you if your coolant's low and I'm pretty sure I could hook that up to the Arduino uh, not that I want to I don't really care about that so um, I'm gonna go ahead and work on getting this mounted uh, and then I'll, I'll resume with this video uh, tomorrow morning with the rest of the unboxing and show you all the other components I have. So um, 
there's like I said about five hundred dollars worth of stuff. So this is just this is just like a thirty dollar piece. There's a lot more to come. All right, it's day two. Uh, I got the rest of the boxes here in the kiln. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and unbox these and kind of explain a little bit about what the pieces are. Uh, just give you an idea of all the different components that I have going into this. So. Uh, this box right here is going to be the inner, another intercooler. I got two intercoolers. This box right here is going to be a, a, a tarp system for the baffle. Right now the kiln's kind of a mess because I'm running out of space. Um, there's going to be a tarp. I was thinking about making a wood, but I think with the tarp it'll be a little bit more flexible so I can have different heights of the piles. So that tarp will go from the edge of that wood right there down across the, across the pile of lumber and then over here so that'll direct all my airflow around and through the pile so that's what this is and then this one right here um, should be some electronic all right so we'll go ahead and start on the, the unboxing here uh, as most of you know that have been following me on this build uh, you know that i'm working with the arduino, the arduino. Uh, so part of that is going to be connecting all the components uh, with wire and stuff like that so this should be uh, the wire if I remember right, it's a 22 gauge wire, uh, two wire, so that'll be, this will be used primarily for fan control, uh, and then the temperature control, humidity control, all those systems that run on a smaller gauge wire, and that's what this is. So I think I have, a, well there's actually 200 feet of this, so 200 foot of uh, 22 gauge uh, this is uh, I think I forget what this is actually used for but so I misspoke this is actually 22 gauge three wire and the reason I'm running three wire is because a, a good portion of this wire is dedicated for the temperature sensors that are going to be hooked up to that Arduino and those are a three wire system see and those are also 20 I think these actually might be a little bit smaller uh, these are 22 gauge too yeah, so this is also 22 gauge. And then this is kind of what those sensors with that, I, that I look like that I showed you earlier on in the video. They're waterproof. Uh, and the, uh, the, the other thing that's important is the, the temperature range that these things will support. So they'll be really good for hooking up to the PEX tubing and the manifolds. Uh, so I can get an idea of what the vacuum tubes are doing and how efficient the intercoolers are. and, and just be able to really control what this kiln is doing and then you know all that fun stuff that I'm doing here will eventually translate over to the house so I'll be able to use some technology like this uh, whether it be opening and closing windows or automatically opening and closing windows and doors and everything like that just by using the Arduino and temperature control because with the passive house uh, a lot of it a lot of the temperature controls are um, you know, dependent on airflow. So in order to maximize your airflow, automation is a really good way of doing it. So 22 gauge, three wire uh, with a sleeve. Obviously the sleeve is just to protect the wire and keep it together. So that's that. Next one is what I'm gonna be working on today uh, is gonna be the intercooler. So there's all kinds of different intercoolers. What I did to find this particular one is I knew the dimensions that I was working with. So the intercooler is going to go behind that fan. Um, there's all kinds of different dimensions of these intercoolers. This one comes out of a Jeep Cherokee. Uh, this is brand new, but if this is a replacement part, uh, it's a single, single array, I guess is what you would call it, uh, intercooler. A lot of them are double, triple, quadruple, um, and they're really big radiators, whatever. This is going to work perfect for me because it's 12 inches wide, which is what the important, the critical dimension is, and then it's 33 or 34 inches long. So I'll be able to funnel the air from one end of the uh, intercooler all the way to the other end and through the manifold or through the through the radiator fan. So I'll be able to maximize this and get a lot of good heat transfer out of it uh, by using this particular design. So this is kind of. This is kind of the packaging. This is what it looks like. Uh, I'm gonna leave it in here for right now because uh, I'll, I got another one 
I'll keep one of them packaged and get the other one hooked up. So, and then go from there. Put this in here. And then finally, this is that tarp that I was talking about. Um, I didn't actually want to use a tarp in this system because uh, tarps, you know, they they have a different purpose. They usually come with rings or anchor points or whatever. I don't want any of that stuff. You pay extra for it. This particular item is actually uh, used for doing ground pools like if you're gonna put a pool or a, a, a little pond or something in your, your your land or whatever at your house this is what this stuff is reason I went with it a uh, few different reasons one because it's extremely durable uh, it's waterproof and most importantly is it's black so and that and additionally it's flexible so uh, that's really important for this for what I'm going to use it for I don't need any rings or anything like that uh, it's it's UV protected I mean it, it, it's it, it'll work perfect for what I'm doing so that's, this is what it is you can see how thick it is I think this is 15 mil but it's extremely durable which is important for this because it's going to be banged on and you know lifted and stretched and uh, all kinds of you know it's going to experience a lot of wear and tear so and it's non-permeable so really important uh, I'm going to give this a try and see how it works I'm going to cut the cart the the tarp down in three different sections it's a 25 foot trailer so um, there will be some overlap you know maybe maybe we'll do seven or eight foot sections whatever to get it to to get it to span the whole distance and then create a steel overlap. So, with that, uh, that'll be the end of this unboxing. I actually have a few more components coming. Um, the Arduino is still in the mail uh, because I ordered it over Christmas. Uh, a lot of other people must have been using that as a Christmas present because they were all out. That's in the mail. Um, and then the other thing that's in the mail is the quick couplings for this. So this is gonna go to PEX. This is the manifold. I, I did another video for this. There's gonna be a quick coupler that comes onto this so that each one of these is modular and disconnects and stuff like that. So I got that coming also. And then from there, uh, you know, it's just a matter of putting stuff together. You can see I have some stuff in the background, some PEX stuff, some insulation for the heat pipes, uh, and then all the trash and whatever else that I still have to deal with. So with that, that's the end of this video. Uh, if you have any questions about any of the components, go ahead, feel free to ask. Um, and I'll just, I'll see you on the next video.